Hey, good on. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Um, my name is Govind. Um, I have uh, 20 years of experience in IT field. Worked for many industries like um, telecom, um, banking, ERP, various domain experiences. Also, I designed a lot of systems for high critical business applications. So I started this uh, YouTube channel to talk uh, about uh, architectures. Okay, We have a um, lot of experience around the world. Everyone knows like what kind of uh, architectures are available for software, infrastructure, uh, networking, everywhere, right? So started this as a simple way of communication, right? You can share your experience um, that you had with different um, customers or clients and I can share my experience. <clears throat> so we'll talk about um, the architectures, IT architectures, okay? So to start with right today, I just want to talk a little bit about um, how do we look architectures, right? So you can you can uh, think like uh, application architecture as uh, one of the items, but um, there are a lot many things available, um, right? Um, you can architect uh, the infrastructure, you can architect the network, you can architect the cloud, you can architect the public cloud, private cloud, and um, hybrid cloud, and even you can architect the artificial intelligence applications, and also you can architect the machine learning. So you can architect everything, right? Also, when it comes to architectures, do not limit your imagination, right? So normally when we talk about architectures, we talk about, we take a house construction as an example, right? Meaning the civil engineering architectures are mostly compared to the IT architectures, right? Starting with the basement, or you can take, treat it as a database layer, and you have the middle layer and also you have the front layer, written layer, all those stuff, right? But um, you don't need to limit your imagination to only the um, civil engineering to compare with IT architectures, right? You can still take an example of um, simple kitchen, right? Just kitchen. Just to make a recipe, you have to have a lot of ingredients, right? Mm, let's take an example of making a soup. So to make a perfect soup, what do you need? You need water, you need uh, vegetables, you need um, uh, right uh, ingredients like um, salt, pepper, spices. Um, if you have all these items, you cannot make the perfect soup, but you should know how, how much quantity you have to put to make a perfect soup, right? And also the vessel, what type of vessel you have to use and um, whether your fire has to be on the medium or low or high. So these are all the um, components of making a perfect soup, right? You can treat this as um, an example for building a software architecture. So I took civil engineering house construction as one example to compare your ID architecture and uh, I took just uh, making a soup as another example to compare your ID architecture. So do not limit your imagination to uh, any particular um, area to compare the ID architecture. You can still take a office table, right? So office table cannot be called as an office table if you don't have right parts in place, right? So if you assemble all the parts with the drawer and place for your uh, uh, monitors and uh, you place for your um, pen stand and you should have a moving um, particles for keeping your keyboard and um, you should have some storage area for store some uh, notes and books, right? So without these, the table won't be a perfect. And if you make everything, um, available in this table, you can call this as a perfect architectural table, right? So this is how I think when I 
uh, when I'm asked to create an architecture for a, an application, right, I don't limit my imagination to one particular area. Okay, I widen my imagination all over the places where I have the objects in my home or any construction place or any kitchen area or recipe to make. Uh, so all these things will come to come into my mind while making a perfect architecture or a software. So we'll keep uh, exploring these kind of ideas and um, we'll go from there. Thank you. Bye.